Now, CBS4 weather. 6.45 now on this Thursday morning. Let's check in with meteorologist Dave Warren, who is in for list set this morning, and he's live from home. Hey, Dave. Yes, and good morning. It's turning out to be a warm and muggy start to the day, and uh, that is all about to change. We have a cold front coming in. That'll bring in some drier air and cooler temperatures here over the next uh, few days. But we have to get through today first. Let's start off with our camera in the Keys uh, there, the Key West. Our Keys camera showing clouds around, and uh, there's a few showers in the Gulf that will continue to watch. But for right now, uh, that is what you're waking up to there. Elsewhere, temperatures are into the upper 70s. A warm and muggy start to the day today here. Uh, and uh, that breeze is out of the south to, to southeast. It'll turn to the southwest, and that's what keeps us hot today. Uh, but uh, real-time Doppler shows what's happening. We're already starting to see a few lightning strikes there just south of Homestead, so storms are already developing. A lot of activity out ahead of this cold front is what we'll be dealing with later this morning and throughout the afternoon and evening. Now, this is all trying to work its way through, and eventually it will, and that'll be followed by a cooler breeze. But uh, for right now, this is our live picture in Fort Lauderdale. Temperatures are into the upper 70s, and it is muggy out there this morning. Sunshine will heat things up, and that'll trigger these showers and storms out ahead of the cold front. Satellite and radar shows exactly what's following this, and it's a cooler breeze. Uh, that comes in overnight to tonight and early tomorrow. Now there's the moisture around. These will fuel these storms. Notice it's around pretty much all day today, but then by tomorrow that dry air comes in and is nice and comfortable there. So these showers and storms are followed by a cooler breeze. Uh, that's what we're dealing with tomorrow afternoon, and that'll continue Saturday and Sunday. Dew points on the lower bar, temperatures on the upper bar. When you see those dew points drop Friday morning into the 50s, 71 over 57, that's pretty comfortable there. And that'll be Friday, and it stays pretty dry here Friday afternoon, Saturday, and Sunday. So even though it warms into the lower 80s, Humidity is down. It is pleasant and nice and comfortable. There's a small craft. You want to use caution today. There's a south-southwest wind about 10 to 15 knots, 2 to 4 foot seas. There'll be a light chop on the bays. 92 today, though, though these showers and storms develop, and then that'll cool things off. Wind turning to the southwest about 10 to 15 miles an hour. Extended forecast has comfortable weather over the weekend. It gets a little warmer on Monday. By Tuesday, we are back up to 90 degrees. The humidity is back, and there's storms in the forecast there on Wednesday. Remember, next Tuesday, it is teacher appreciation day want to show your appreciation well you can take a picture your kids with the teachers or your teacher alone email them to cbs 4 pics at cbs.com and we'll put them on tv that'll be next tuesday for teacher appreciation day